Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. I was right. It was definitely a radio moment yesterday. Page 2. <laughs> what is it? Line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Line 5. Here they are. Look. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's four blocks that make it up. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. So, I have to fix everything. <laughs> I've upgraded some of what we had. Oh, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. I've I've upgraded a lot of the blocks. Uh, the ramp especially. I did do the ramp. So this all has to come out, and I've got to start over on it. Um, not that big a deal. Um, we'll do what we can to, you know, limit the amount of damage that I caused here. But these blocks, see, I knew it. I knew it. I second-guessed myself yesterday. And I knew that these were not the right blocks. I was beginning to wonder, okay, was that a different game that added a nicer ramp block that, you know, is going to work better? Answer is no. No, it's not. So I need to take this down. And uh, we're going to fix this today first. This is going to get fixed. And I think what I'm going to do is halfway, well, I don't know about halfway, but on the way down, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a turn in it. So that we've got a little space to have a turn. It was also suggested in the comments, and thank you so much, you guys, for putting up with me. <laughs> it must have been kind of painful to watch. I apologize, but, you know, it's uh, the nature of the beast. It happened. Good morning, apocalyptic survivors. Here we are, fixing my big mistake. It's not going to take me that long to repair it and fix it. It's no big deal. I only went up to Cobble. You can see I get through this pretty dang fast, so it's not a big deal. It's just a waste of time and a bit of waste, waste of resources. I wanted to go off and look for the desert today. We may still do that. I don't know. Um, or see. I feel like I need to get this remedied right away so that I can start working on the main structure up here. You can see I've got blocks here that didn't even do anything here. This one's going to take forever and a day. So I'm going to knock this down. We're going to get those blocks on our hot bar. We're going to get this set up differently. And it is going to go down. And then it's going to flatten out and it's going to turn towards the roadway. And then maybe what we could do is dig out to the roadway or something and just make it look like its own entranceway. Well, it will. It'll be its own entranceway to our, you know, our, our fortress here. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back when uh, I get this much further along. <laughs> much further along. Or unless, you know, something happens. If I jump to the next level of minor 69er I'm gonna have the ultimate damage I'm gonna go ahead and do it's gonna cost me two points here I think I've got the strength glasses I could put those on it would probably be cheaper but I do want to keep my other glasses on most of the time so I'm gonna do that minor 69ers all the way up to the top what about pummel Pete I can add another one in here too which would help us out as well I'm going to hold on to the other four points and think about it, though, because I'm kind of thinking robotics might be fun to go into, because I do enjoy the machines in the game and the wiring and the electrical, all this stuff, you know. The, the toys are fun. Whether or not I get a, a crap ton of XP or I lose out on XP, I know we could change that, too, with um, something we could level up in. So I'm kind of toying with that. The other thing is, is that once we get ourselves set up here, I really could go get one of those uh, forgetting elixirs and then just wipe my mind clean and decide exactly what I want to go into. I've got a, is this a military horde? Oh, military horde. We don't want to lose these guys. Is it? Hey. Hey, guys. There's just the two of you out here? Aim for that head. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got... Here, here we go. Here we go. Hey, hey, buddy. Washa! Oh, they got past us, man. That's not cool. I don't think I can hit him from here. Okay, there's our bag. Oh, there's another bag. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right, two. A two for one. No, no, it's two for two. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. Uh, did we get everybody? I don't think so. I think we missed, uh, We looks like we missed part of this horde going by. Maybe? I, I think so. Luke. 
Luke's a strong one, guys. He's a strong one. Alright, so there was another bag. Where'd it go? There it is, right there. Point. Another tier six? Wow. They are cramming those things down my throat. That's like the... F I think that's the fourth or fifth one we found. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, what are you doing, Mr. Special? A little bit of everything out here this morning. Jiminy, look at that. Whole bunch of guys. Cool. I love it. All right, so a couple of bags out of it. That's nice. Back to work. Back to work. I love those distractions, though. Keep them coming. One, two, three. Okay, so this gets us now. We're, we're three above ground here. So I think here what I want to do is I'm going to do... What is that? One, one, two, three, four, five. And then we can go here like that. I'm going to go ahead and do another flat space. Two, three, four, five. This is number six. This is where we want to be. One, two. I'll bring you right on over here. Now, maybe I take this piece and turn this into something, again, that has a bit of a design to it. Maybe something similar to what we've got going on over there, but it's a place where they can actually walk underneath here if they want to, but not... No, we, we, don't, we, we do not want them in here, though. So we'll, you know... We'll try it out and see. If they try to undermine this, then we, we know we've got a problem. If they just walk along and maybe somebody bangs on it every now and again, you know, it's, that's okay, I think. Now, I'll ask myself this one here. Do I want the ramp to come from here down to here? Is that what we're doing? Or do I want to add another five and have the ramp come up, we turn onto a flat space, and then go up the next level? Hmm. Well, makes me kind of want to go take this leg here and almost double it up like we've got some of those over on the other side. Oh, I'm missing those blocks again. Uh, shape. Like that, and then one, two, three, four, five, and bump, 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 and bump like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And actually, you know what? We're supposed to be at one more, aren't we? There we go. Did I do this right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. And then what we do is we come off of this one. This is one, two, three, four, five. We come this one with our bridge this way. Our ramp. Sorry, I keep calling it a bridge. It's not a bridge, it's a ramp. I beg your pardon. Oh, I saw it turn. I saw it turn color. I did. I saw it. It's like, no, radio, you're going too far. You got to put a little, some, 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 some support in there, buddy. I love building this kind of stuff. This stuff is fun to build. Boom. Boom. We're almost there. Bump. Bump. And a bump. Can I do one more? Let's see. Oh, it's going for it. Doesn't matter, we're going to fill this whole thing in, but I just want to see. Again, I don't really picture them doing too much, trying to do too much damage to this. I really don't. They're going to run up it, which would be kind of cool. I think it would be really cool, actually. I'm thinking about doing some electric fences up there that we could turn on at the entrance. I think that would be kind of cool. Okay, so that's the very end right there. Uh, let's go ahead and flatten the ground up. Flatten the ground up. <laughs> that does not make any sense at all. We're going to flatten that ground up. Uh, let's see. I think that's good, right? And then we could just come in through here with the rest of these guys. There it is. 6,000 wood. I'm glad I got a little tree farm going on over here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Little tree farm makes it nice and easy. The trees are way over here. Base is way over there, so that it doesn't even render in the base, does it? Billy! Oh, Billy! Oh, I missed you. Oh, and you didn't miss me, but look at that home run I hit. He comes back with a home run, ladies and gentlemen. A home run. Oh, look at that. It's getting sizable, isn't it? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was going to be a small base. <laughs> Whew. We don't have to worry about that, guys. It'll be a big one. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta, gotta have, oh, that's gonna be good, yeah. Now, this one here, I may take and extend this down a little bit further. I might extend that a little bit. 
Beautiful. There we go. We got zombie passageways right here. Everybody's gonna be happy. You gotta think about the zombie. You can't just think about yourself all the time, you know? Bingo, bongo, boingo. Oh. Get upgraded block. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, we can continue to add some design back in here stuff too. So we got a little passageway to get through there. That's nice. Passageways are amazing. And bam, I think we're done. Oh, got a little piece over here. No, we're probably not. <laughs> I'm sure I've missed something somewhere. All right, we got that. We got this side here. Okay. Anything over here not done? Oh, look at there. Yeah, right here, didn't get it done. That fixed by 12:30 in the afternoon. We now have an official entrance way up to our base area. Now this might this might jump back a little bit further. This 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 uh, this area right here, this sort of meeting point here. I feel like if I were to take this and jut it out a little bit, maybe add even a curve type of thing here, possibly on it. I don't know. We'll see. But um, it'd be nice to have a little more turning radius right here, especially if you have the Jeep. And you could even park a vehicle down here if you wanted to. That would look kind of cool, I think, also. But nevertheless, we do have at least a little platform here that we can, uh, you know, uh, pull up. And, and we don't have to do one big long ramp. We just got a nice little uh, easy going ramp there. That's sweet. Oh, man. Oh, and I made a couple of those lanterns, if you hadn't noticed. I made a lantern. I got one right there. And I've got one right here as well. Okay, so let's drop this stuff off. Boom, boom, boom. And a Shazam. And I'm going to put you right there. I'm going to put you back there. Uh, you know what? I could leave. Well, I could take this stuff downstairs. We need to go downstairs. I need to restock my food and water. And I do want to go out and look for a desert. So I'll be right back. That's exactly what we're going to do next. I feel kind of rushed, but we have all day tomorrow to get the base upgraded and ready to go for the horde tomorrow night. But I do want to get out and about today a little bit. I do. I do. I do. Oh, food. Awesome. Okay, we're going to take this guy with us. Ugh, now i got to go all the way back up there again. <laughs> up we go. That'll come out. We don't need it anymore. All right. I am going to go... We're going to be going through the wasteland today, so I did bring some extra rounds with me. Uh, so we do have those. Let's go ahead and close our garage door, because it's cool to do. Boop. Nice. Oh, so beautiful. But one thing I've got to do is I'm going to have to wrench a few cars to get some fuel for the vehicle here. Uh, so I will join you guys back. We are going to go up through... Well, we need to go up through Jenstown. We need to go up through Jenstown. So I need to go... Yeah, I need to go this way. There's not a whole lot of cars between us and there. But once we get to Jenstown, I am going to be wrenching down, I don't know, a handful of vehicles. I'd like to try to fill up the bike. It was reminded of me, too, to the other day in the comments that I need to look for that fuel, uh, that conserve, what is it called? There's a fuel mod for the bike, and if I put that on, it lose, uses 50% less fuel. That's what was said in the comments, so I would love to get a hold of that, because right now, yeah, I'm going to have to kind of take it slow, slow roll it, because I don't want to run out of gas, so as soon as I hit the shift key, of course, the gas goes down really fast, so... Uh, I'll be back. I'm going to be looking for some cars, some gasoline, and then we are really going to go out there and try to find a desert, and we have to go through the wasteland to do so. You know what would be good to do is to... Um, I probably should see if one of these towns has got one of those uh, oil places in it. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? We've done the... Oh, oh, there's one right over here. This is the one we saw, I think, that is not busted into, right? Let's see. There was oil shale in the bottom of this. We might get lucky here today. Uh, actually, it does look like it's blown out on the side, huh? 
So this one is damaged as well. Okay, I'm going to want to uh, make sure I get out of here quickly if I need to. So let's go ahead and tear this fence down a little bit. Oh, I love having good tools, man. This is just a tier four, but I love it. Is there a, a, an opening here? I'm sure there is, yes. Oh, there's a doghouse back here, too. we got to be careful of that. There, do you see him spawn in? I cry hogwash on that. They shouldn't spawn in that that late in the game. Ooh, look at here. Well, well, well. Hey, guys. Look at all the sleepy heads. Shh, be very quiet. Joe and Stanley are sleeping. Did you guys see the pictures that they put out? They are going to have different clothing and colors for these guys to be wearing. I hear some twinkle toes. Hmm. There's oil shield right here, guys. Oh, okay. Now I'm kind of worried about this. I thought maybe I'd cause a spark or something and it would explode. I don't know. Oil shield. 810. Oh, we should still see if we can find a desert. Don't you agree? Oh, baby. That is nice. What do we get? 1,400 oil shale. Who's walking over here? <laughs> He's crawling around underneath this thing. <laughs> You funny little man. I, I was trying to figure out what the heck is that? He was underneath this trailer crawling around like a little like a little spider. Silly fella. Ooh, look at this. It's a trailer lot. Hey, Stanley. Yoink. Hurrah. He flew in like a ninja. All right, let's make sure everything's reloaded. We are going into the wasteland. Going to make sure we have our best weapon in hand when we have to step off the bike to deal with birds or whatever it may be. Buzzards should be... Um, I think I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they're attracted to the noise, right? It's not your health level or anything like that anymore. It's just the noise in general. So we're bound to be uh, bothered by some buzzards when we drive through here. Just like the desert's the same way, if you don't know that. The desert and this biome, you both, you'll have buzzards that just pick up on you and then they chase you. Like, now we're going to see Dobermans, uh, zombie bears. That dog's probably going to see us. Yeah, he saw us. He's definitely coming after us, but he won't catch us. There's a buzzard right there. It gets dark, it gets gloomy in here, and the music is terrifying. I don't know if that buzzard actually picked up on us or not. Kind of hoping we can get through here and find a road, a main, this main road. I'm going to try to stick to it as best I can to see if we can't get to a desert on it. Uh, it's got to lead somewhere. And from what we've seen so far is it looks like the wasteland is pretty big on this map. But we'll see. We're in new territory right now. Looks miserable here. Trader Hugh. Trader Hugh. We, we don't have a hue yet, huh? We finally found a hue. Something you want to buy? Or uh, trade? Your inventory, please. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just sell that and sell that. I'm just looking to get these out of my inventory so I've got space for the things out there. There we go. Yeah, what do you got for books there, buddy? We've never been out here to you before. Rifle World, Get Hammered. Uh, I don't see anything I really want, to be quite honest with you. 
Uh, yeah, we've already we just sold that to him. Uh, food wise, he's got nothing there. I would be tempted to tempted to buy a crucible, but we don't have enough money for that. And we are talking about finally. Grandpa's forgetting elixir. I'm gonna get one of those eventually here. Uh, ar triple armor pocket mod. If I grab that, that should let's buy that. That's gonna fix us up now. We don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. We have it. We are gonna have full inventory. And I think that's gonna be it. Yep. I don't want to buy anything else from him. Else, you best be on your way. I am going to be leaving. Thank you, sir. 1829. It's late. Uh, let's turn the light on. Uh, where is his vending machines? I don't spend much money in here on these things, but I will take those because you never know when you might need something like that. Uh, I should check the workstations for the forge books here for sure. Uh, where are they? Before I head back. We gotta keep going down the road here. It's getting dark. It's gonna be getting dark. I'm gonna keep you guys with me today. It's gonna be kind of a, a couple of different looking episodes, I guess. Maybe this one in Horde Day. Sounds like we got a couple of uh, bad guys out here. Yeah, that sounds nasty, doesn't it? I hear puppy dog. Hopefully we got some forge books. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Just a few things here. We're just searching a few things real quick. Uh, we'll have to come back out here. Did I get this here? Nope. Missed it. This has always got a forge book in it. Ooh, a 95 shale. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Let's check the SUB here. Two repair kits. That's real handy to have there. And let's check this guy real fast as well. Oh my god. You jokesters, you. Oh, I hear bear now, too. Jeez, man, we got a lot of trouble out there. We got a lot of trouble. Uh, I'll put that pocket mod in later. Uh, okay, so which way are we leaving when we leave here? It's taking us back, so... Heading west. Hey guys, see you later. See you later, everybody. Nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Without, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. I came in the other way. I'm going to have to pass that cop again. Big Mama. Big Mama and the police officer. See ya. Yeah, yeah. You missed. Let's see if we get to the desert now, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh. There's a burn victim. There's the dog again. It's, it's a horrible place. Just a horrible place. Now that we've been here for a little bit, things are really spawning in. Once nighttime comes, that will be really interesting around here. This could be a good chance at it. Cop puking on us. There's another cop up ahead. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Another guy with that. Oh, I don't see a big road out of here at the moment. Mm. Dang it. Now where am I going to find me a desert? Where am I going to find myself a desert? I'm going to try to stay at this end of the town here and look around some more. But I think I'm out of luck. I don't think I'm going to find one. Okay, so we're back into the snow again now. That's not good. Trader Joel's. Okay, he should show up on the map now, right? 
We're not stopping here. There's a Trader Joel there. All right, sweet. Oh, I guess I got to talk to him, don't I? This is going to put us out here at night. We're going to keep going that direction there. This is our first Trader Joel that we have found. We should go talk to him and make sure we get him... Uh, Oh, hey, hey, how are you? Oh, hey, gas tank mod. Uh, hey, buddy. What you got for books? Armor, scrapping for fun, explosives, furious fist, big hitters, bar brawling, robotic drone, medic mod schematic. Uh, nothing, thank you, sir. You have a great day now. Uh, I appreciate that. Wow, you're really nice, Joel. Let's check a couple of... Oh, man, that's got a couple of magazines in it for us there. Uh, I feel like I really need to get going here because I need to get myself out of this area before... Well, we're going to be in the snow, so that's better, but it's not great. I see desert? I do. I see cactus. Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. Hopefully there's a better route to get back home from this. We're going to go into the desert just a little bit here. Oh, my concussion is really bothering. I should probably take a painkiller. Good for some oil shale now. Desert, ladies and gentlemen. Desert. It took us the day, but we got it. We've, we've got desert. Just looking for a nice piece of oil shale here. I see lead, I see birds, buzzards, all kinds of stuff. But I don't see shale yet. Lots of lead. Holy cow, there's a ton of lead out here. Get the lead out. This is where you come for lead as well. Okay. Victoria, hello. Hey, heart. Hi there, sweetie. We're going to keep going on this road for a little bit longer. I just need to find a, a note of oil shale. Finding iron, lead. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're good. All right, there we go. All right, let's do a little bit of digging. You can dig until it gets dark. We're over here, Victoria. I hear a rabbit suffering at the hands of uh, a cactus, dying, screaming in the night. Oh, precious oil shell. There you are. And we should get... Well, you know, the thing about this is you don't always get... You don't always get the good stuff when you're use uh, increases tank size by 100%. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I need to be able to fill it. Recipes. Uh, I'll figure out where that goes in a second. Use that and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and drink a little something. Let's eat a little something. Beautiful. And then I need my shovel. That's what I was looking for to begin with. Alright, shovel. We should get a little bit of sand with this. Did they up sand? Because we get clay, too, and I'm kind of disappointed with the clay. I would love to be able to come to the desert and just dig up sand. I mean, there's 158 I've got now. So, I mean, you get a little bit of it. But then once you get to a certain level, it turns into stone, which, of course, it should. But this first layer, I would like it to be mostly uh, sand, I think. We're going to dig this out a little bit just so we can, uh, you know, not be stuck down in a hole. We've got our turret, which is nice. But uh, it's always good to kind of get yourself safe. We should be able to pick up quite a bit of oil shell here really fast. Take it home and we won't have to come back out here for a little period of time, really. Okay, we've got over 6,000 oil shell. I think we're good. For a little while. Uh, I'm going to put some blocks right here. Let's go to the map. I'm just going to mark it uh, just so I have it. 
Nice. Picked up a little more fuel. Oh, there's another... He should start running. There he comes. Come on, Billy. Come on, buddy. Bam! Home run, ladies and gentlemen. It was a home run. Uh, we have a town just up ahead in the desert here. Looks like that road cuts off to the right there and starts heading south, which is good news for us. But here is another town. Now, is there a trader in this town? There's bound to be one, right? Bound to be one in here. There he is right there. Bam. I think we might have to mark this on the map. We're going to have a little trouble here. Did not handle that very well. I'll be the first one to admit it. Let's go to map and let's mark this. Uh, does it, it's going to say it there. It's a trader. He was right here. All right. And then uh, which way do we want to go? That takes us into town. This one takes us out of town and it takes us back heading south. So I think we want to, well, let's see. Where's that going? If we go south right now, we should. Yeah. You know what? This might be exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to take this road and see where it goes. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on this road again. Another trader. Trader Joel's right here. Here it is. It's showed up on the map. Trader Joel's. Let's hope this road continues to go south and takes us right home. That would be fabulous. Like, down to Jen's town would be perfect. I'm going to try to head back west. Although I don't see a main road connecting to this, do I? I guess I'll go east. See where this takes me. Wow, this is quite the mountain road here. We're coming down off the snow mountain and getting ready to go back up on the green forested, the pine forest mountain. Oh, jeez. I didn't see him. I didn't even see that person. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was kind of gory. Took 4% health on my bike. Oh, horrible. Um, yeah, it's been a long night. Uh, oof. The wasteland, huge. Found the desert, got the oil shale, screwed up and left the shooter behind the uh, turret, but we've got it in our pocket, so we're okay there. Um, Horde night is coming up on this next day. Fixed the ramp up and down from our base. Thank you so much for putting up with that one. I really appreciate the fact that you guys uh, got that worked out for me. Uh, look at this. This is going to take us right to this road right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the second road back behind our house. We're almost home, you guys. That's our road right there where we take all the time to go see Jen. There's a second tiered row, road that uh, is back here between this one and that one that we have our tree farm on. So home sweet home is actually just right over here. We're almost there. Yeah, almost there. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So the desert's not, well, the desert is a little ways away. We'll take a look at the map here pretty quick. We're just about home. A full 24-hour cycle's gone by. This next day, we do need to make sure the trap is ready to go for tonight, because day 28 is horde night. We're going to wind up having uh, cops, buzzards. I would imagine we're going to have some radiated zombies as well, and plenty of armored characters also showing up uh, tonight. Look at this. Home sweet home. Yeah. We take that road over there for Jen to get to Jen. Oh. Yep. So today is Horde Day. We get the Horde base ready to rock and roll. We go around it with our concrete, make sure everything's fixed up. Is there anything we want to add to it? We definitely want to move our electric fences. 
and get that all kind of organized a little bit better. But in this day, we did quite a bit. We got this all taken care of. That works just nice as can be. Again, thank you for that information. I appreciate it very much. Holly, what are you doing? There we go. Perfect. All right. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. On the Radio Man 03, have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.